is one of the reasons NBA free agency isn't what it used to be. It's because guys don't hit free agency. They take extensions and then decide whether or not they want to be there. <laughs> and I, I don't want to be unfair to Donovan at all. So I, this is just my gut tells me that around this time next year, we're going to hear about Donovan Mitchell potentially being traded. Hello. I did, now, not to the Knicks. Wow. It doesn't make because it doesn't make sense for the Knicks. They don't need it. He didn't go to Villanova. They already have an, a guard that might be <laughs> better than him. Villanova. And they. Wow. I, I think Jalen Brunson's better than Donovan. I, I know you disagree. Yeah, I but at least I think you think it's probably they're in the same they're similar, I don't know it, how similar well they tier. Together. Yeah. Uh, and so I just think guys these days take the extension, figure it out later, and I'll be able to be moved if I want to be. So it's mm-hmm. not it's not shocking to me. And I, I just don't think Cleveland is going to be able to get there. And it didn't seem like he and Garland <clears throat> were long for a pairing. So does this mean they're going to trade Garland or they're so. going to try to run it back again? I don't know. Well, look, it, I agree with you that he, he may a year from now one out and he'll be able to go wherever he wants. And this does give you time to kind of look at the lay of the land, yeah. see where I might fit, what team is set, where we could maybe win a championship. So all that is fair. But. And you're right, he and Garland, there was talk that, you know, they, they're not going to – some people are surprised they're still together yeah. at this point. But that team has talent. I mean, you, Garland is a very good player. Jared Obviously, Allen, Donovan. Evan Mobley. Yeah, Evan and Jared Allen. I mean, two seven-footers who are versatile. You know, I, I, Allen is a great rim protector and defender, and Mobley is getting better. Karis LeVert isn't bad. Max Struess isn't bad. Like – It'll be interesting. I didn't think they need to fire J.B. Bickerstaff, and obviously he's in Detroit now. But let's see what Kenny Atkinson can do. And I think maybe Donovan's giving him a chance to see what he can do with this team. Because okay. talent-wise, they can be a, a, a really good team. I see. So I, here's the thing. I this is, I, 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 when you were saying that, I feel a lot of the way, uh, same thoughts I have when you talk about the Lakers supporting cast, which is, yeah, I like Reeves. And Rui, I think, in his role is fine. I think we have to adjust our eyes to the depth of talent in the league right now, that you can have a team that on paper like the Cavs looks good, and then you put that pencil to paper and you're like, wait, there's four teams clearly better than these. The national and international pastimes. Embiid got a new teammate and a boost to his MVP odds. The addition of PG-13 moved Embiid into a tie with SGA for third best MVP odds. Yeah. Behind Joker and Luka. Why is that surprising to you? He won it a year ago, and last year was going to win it before he got hurt. He Why was is this surprising? amazing last year. Why are you shocked by this? Because he played third, almost 40, 40 games. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's last. Yeah. He would that's not be surprising. third in last year's. I doubt he odds. played sixty-five games. That's, well, then that's, that's the, the problem. problem. Okay, then then it should be down. Okay. Oh, What's sorry. the question? Hubs is yelling at me. We got ninety yeah, seconds the for the I entire thing. <laughs> How much pressure is Embiid under? Embiid is under the most pressure of any player in the league. Correct. That's right. Now, some people might say Dame, but Dame's not an MVP. Dame's not an MVP because it looks bad going to Milwaukee and now they're they're not that good. Dame's not an MVP, though, and he's not. He's small. And we know we've talked about only Isaiah Thomas, Steph Curry, maybe Gus Williams, if you want to give him that with Seattle, led teams to championship and Kuzi way back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, But so there's no pressure on that. It'd be nice for him to win it. People be happy. Yeah, there's some pressure. But Embiid, oh, it is pressure. The clock's ticking, number one. He's 30 years old. But he feels more like 35-ish because of his body. Mm-hmm. All right. The other two MV, th- this era is the era of parody. Everybody's eating. All right. Jokic, Giannis, Tatum and Brown. Steph got another one. Like everybody's getting their championship right now. When are you getting or, yours, or, Joel? Or if you're that level of guy. So here's the, the and he's had good players around him too. Everything can't Bruce act like he had that team. Has said is correct. I don't know that I feel like. He has ever had a team good enough to where they should have been the favorite to win the title, but they should have made a couple conference finals, yeah, maybe an you. NBA final. So, like, here, I was looking at America's favorite NBA player rating system, King of the Hill. Oh. And I was like, all right, how many of these guys that are just, like, top 30-ish guys haven't been further than Embiid in the playoffs? Here's my full list of it. Shea. Who just had his first right, real taste of the playoffs? Right. Donovan, Halliburton, who just got there, and Ja. Every other guy 
in the every, top 30? It, it, wow. Ish, yeah. The, every, every other guy that we think of as all NBA caliber, even adjacent, has at least been to a conference finals. Mm. Every single one. Like, you can roll through them in your head. You're like, oh, yeah, Dame did make the one. And the, Luke obviously made the finals last year. He conference finals before. Like, every single guy. Except, and, and, and Shea's, you know, the, the, the yeah, other guys. Shea, so, Donovan's under sneaky pressure. I know we'll talk about him in, shortly. Mm -hmm. But it's he is unequivocally under the most pressure of everyone, anyone in the league, especially because they got – they're the only team to, without giving anything out, add an all-star. Like, the Knicks added Mikael Bridges, but they did have to give a little something out. It yep. was a trade. They added Paul they George got into Cap They a legit Capsons. big three. Yes. A legit, I mean, all the positions on the floor pretty much that you want are featured in that big three. Cool. It's, uh, he looked like the best player in the league last year during the regular season before he got hurt. For a little while. So go ahead and get it done, Joe. Okay. Donovan I believe Mitchell, in you. up next. Ramsey, you know I think Donovan could not have been made. They, it's not an, if, if if I can't sign it, it's not an offer. And I had to like it's so an idea. It, it, the, it, like hey maybe we could cobble together <laughs> four years eighty if you say you want to come here. Give give me some get, sign yeah, give me to some work time. my give my me magic. three months because max. here's the, here's the deal: the Lakers don't <laughs> have you know. eighteen because it doesn't have to be twenty million a year because it can scale up a right, bit. Right, right, right. They don't have eighteen million to offer for this year. Mm. And so what teams with well-run front offices historically do is before the meet, Brew, you tell me, because you've been not quite in the meetings, but closer to the meetings than I've been, they clear out the space beforehand so it's ready and ro ready to go. So like, hey, we can do this right now before right. you leave, mm -hmm. before you go check out the great lakefront real estate in Dallas you're looking at. Like, no, oh, that's usually how it's done. The way it's typically done in my experience with the Lakers is after missing out on a target that you publicly pursue, you float out there some numbers that you think is going to get you good PR, but then this happens. <laughs> and so, like, no. So, I don't, I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. And I, one other thing I must say, for folks that are, I guess, new to the American tax code, the state of California and the state of Texas – did not recently undergo some massive tax changes that have now all of a sudden made Dallas a free agent destination when it hasn't been for a decade and made the Lakers out in the cold when it had always been the place my whole life up until roughly 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I just, this idea is, oh, it's the taxes. What are you going to do about the taxes? I don't know, man. Dr. Buss never had a problem getting free agents with those taxes. And Mark Cuban forever. Missed out on free agents despite the taxes. Yep. So I, this whole idea of, well, you know, they're just it's unfair. It's just the, the state taxes, man. What are you going to do? Capitalism. I, it, the whole thing irritates me beyond belief. Yeah, I mean, look, what the Lakers, you're right in that front office is either clear the money or they have deals in place. Right. You, you know, you see somewhere, right? Deal. Yeah, as soon as you agree, we making this trade. And they try to trade D'Angelo Russell to the Warriors in a sign and trade that would have been able to get Clay back. They didn't the Warriors didn't want They've been there, done that. And They've had right. that experience. And here's the chop now, so you're right. Look, last year when they gave player options when they signed like Christian Wood and Jackson Hayes, Cam Reddish, they small like two, three million dollar player options. But all those guys picked them up this year. Why would and they then D'Lo, of course, picked this up. Yeah. And that took away whatever money they might have to spend in free agency. D'Lo, I think, realized there's not this huge market out there for me. Yeah. Okay, so that's why he opted in. Remember, after the playoffs, yeah, he yeah. thought, oh, I I'm about to you know, capitalize on my leverage. Why is this guy leverage? Jackson Hayes picked he up a player wait. option of the league minimum? He's right, like, he's he, like he you know what, if I turn down contract. the league minimum, it might not be yeah, out there for playoff, me. But regular you, season, he's good. You loved him. He can play no, look, I, I, I don't have a problem with Jack Hayes. But, <laughs> but, yeah, they so that money isn't out there. And next year, the teams with money aren't that good, other yeah. than Philly, and that's gone. And so uh, there, there isn't much of a market for D'Lo. So they could not – Clay was just like, I, I'm not sitting here waiting all summer possibly yeah. – for you guys right. to find a trade partner for D'Angelo Russell. Despite, so that's why he went to Dallas. And maybe also, by the way, maybe if all things were equal, he still maybe would have rather yeah, Dallas. Better basketball Who knows? 